Hey guys, quick video, very important one. Don't miss this, it could cost you thousands. On a 1KD FTV, this is the EGR cooler, okay? It cools down those dirty, filthy exhaust gases that are coming from your exhaust system through the port in your head into the EGR cooler here. That is what's meant to be on there, connecting it to the head. But if you leave this mounting bolt out, see that bolt there, if that's missing, Usually what happens is they crack around here. As you can see, it was also starting, right? If you get to it quickly, you might only get that and you can weld it up. If it's broken, you might be able to get a really good welder to weld it up, like they might be able to weld this one up. But these are about 800 bucks from Toyota. Or you might get one from the records for 300 bucks or something like that. So this is the shortest video you ever see, really important. It's really important you subscribe and turn the bell on because there's lots more important information like this and a lot of it you've missed already. You need to go and check out all the older videos. Mounting bolt right there, do not forget it. So what you do when you put it back together, normally the rest of it's on the back here, you get all your nuts and bolts started. That means these two, which are here, the two at the back end that go up to the EJ valve, this one, you get it all lined up, happy days, once you're all happy, I actually tighten those five bolts in many passes. So I don't tighten up this one, then tighten up that one. I bring them all in evenly so the whole EGR cooler can move into the comfortable position it wants to be in between the five different mounting points, if you know what I mean, yeah? Do not forget this bolt because that's what I believe is the reason why that's cracked and the reason why this is broken off. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it. Like I said, subscribe. Turn the bell on. Hit the like button if you like this and it could save you thousands. See ya.